Okay, on this 2001 Prius, uh, this one I looked at and recharged back on 7 of 2018. And this old 2001 is finally given up its ghost. As you can see there, you see that green dot right there. And you see more green, you see all that green there. Those little tiny dots over there in the corner, those are all leaks. So that's what the dye looks like when it spots multiple leaks. Okay, so, but you don't stop there. I still got to test the evaporator inside. You go over, do your visual, follow all your lines, going all the way back to the firewall and then back down, get up underneath the car. Um, cabin filters getting replaced. Cabin filters, there's another car over there getting the cabin filter replaced. So we have a condenser to do on this one. Only 58 PSI, but I got a warm car that was driven here, so it's higher. The temperature is higher than 58. This should be higher than 58 uh, to whatever the temperature of the driven car is. That means I only have vapor in the system. There's probably no liquid. And uh, so I still have to fill it up to test it, even though I found the leaks. I wanna know the compressor is still in good condition. The expansion valve is operating fine. I'm getting cold out of the evaporator, not just jump the gun and change the condenser only and then find out I have a problem later on. Then coming, oops, lost my mask. Yeah. Then this one here, it came in, it only has 16 PSI. Looked at the sight glass. The sight glass is crystal clear, so it's not gray, black doesn't have any burnt looking it's nice and clear so that might be a good chance that the compressor is still good and uh, this one here I have to recover the refrigerant put it under a vacuum fill it up completely and then do a leak check on this one so we'll be coming back to this there's no evidence that anybody ever put dye in it before first thing I do when I see it's not in a car I didn't see before you know my name is not on the caps so I know I didn't see this do this before you pull the caps on both the fittings and then you use your black light and you hit the, the ports and look inside and see if somebody hooked up to this before with uh, and put dye in the system or you look in. The, so that tells you somebody worked on it before, yes or no. Not necessarily, it could be somebody who never uses dye or the little cans with no dye on it. So we'll jump off to the next uh, step of procedure. I'll recover both of these vehicles and I'll fill both of these vehicles back up and we'll test them and see how they work. A oh, little, little evidence of rat. Got little mouse droppings here, uh, but there was no evidence of any mouse droppings off inside the cabin. It was clean in the cabin filter, other than a dirty filter, that's it.